So today we're going to have a quick look at the new Black Salt Audio Silencer plugin. This thing is like some black magic for your drums. Check it out. So we're in Cubase right now um, and I have this prep session open uh, where I usually prepare my drums for mixing. Um, and we'll go through the controls first a little bit. Uh, this is just your regular uh, gate control, just like any other noise gate. Uh, this one is uh, kind of the, the magic control, uh, it's called Deep Bleed. Um, and this will allow you to dial in the amount of bleed you want to have removed. Uh, this is just a regular uh, length, the gate will stay open. So you can make it really, really short or open it up for a more natural tone. Uh, and on top of this, there are uh, four presets, one for kick, snare top, snare bottom and toms. Uh, they are they are pretty dialed in uh, for the specific shell. And then there's this ghost button, uh, which, about, which the idea is you automate it in and out on ghost notes on your snare. And what it essentially does is it just lowers the threshold about 12 dB or something. Um, and then there's this uh, sidechain option, which I like to use. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so let's have a listen at this snare first uh, without any gating and uh, just see what it does. Like you can hear, there's a lot of high-end hiss coming through from the hi-hat and the overheads. Um, and now let's enable silencer on this. And even with this long release, it's super, super clean. Like usually I'll use... Um, something like an SSL X gate and I have the release really short uh, to take care of the bleed but still if I enable this with this super short release there's still a lot of bleed is coming through and like with silencer this is so sick there's just nothing um, oh. And if I now solo like all my shells, like without any form of gating, it would sound something like this. And the amount of bleed is just almost as high as the amount of uh, regular hits. Uh, and this is what it would sound like with my usual gate. which still has a lot of annoying uh, high-end. And now with silencer, it's just insane. It's mind blowing. Um, and one thing uh, I like to use uh, is this sidechain option. And I'll show you what that does. Uh, I have a sidechain coming in from my snare trigger track, uh, which is a spliced up version of the original snare track. Uh, so every hit has been detected with hit points uh, and I just turn it into a 20 millisecond slice. Um, and, and, and the input, like you see here on screen, it's just a very short hit uh, and this will be like 100% uh, accurate uh, gating wise. Um, like you can see this only the, these hits coming through and if I disable the sidechain, uh, it will just listen to the original audio. Now I enable it again and it will listen to the sidechain. Like it missed uh, some if something here. Uh, 
Yeah, that's way better. So now I have also enabled the overheads and uh, rooms and uh, let's see what silencer does uh, in context of the full kit. As you can hear, it clearly uh, removes some uh, noise and, and crap you don't want to have, uh, and it makes the shells uh, way more clear uh, this way. Thanks for watching. Uh, this plugin is really, really awesome. Uh, this will definitely be my new go to for gating drums. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, leave a comment what you think about the video, uh, subscribe, and all that stuff you know what to do. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye bye.